The sixth season of Black Mirror has been an insane journey, filled with stories that test the limits of reality and twists that leave you in shock. The penultimate episode, Maisie Day, is easily one of the best episodes of the season, with a story that terrorizes with a thought-provoking narrative and an insane climactic surprise. In this video, we will explore all that happens in Maisie Day, so be aware of spoilers along the way. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. When obsessive paparazzi have a bloody fate, the episode starts off with Bo, a spirited young lady who works as a paparazzi. The story is set in 2006 which can be observed from a piece of news announcing the birth of Suri Cruz. Bo is seen waiting in her car patiently to grab a few snaps of an actor, Justin Camley, who was reportedly meeting his secret lover. Her patience pays off, and she soon catches a glimpse of the actor walking out with his partner, and Bo is quick to take a few precious pictures of this secret affair. The actor realizes that he has been photographed, and he pleads with her to give him the images, even suggesting that he would pay her money to protect his reputation. However, Bo drives off, ignoring the pleas, and hands over the images to her boss. A distraught Justin can be seen cursing at her hopelessly as she leaves, and we soon get to find out the true impact of her actions. As Bo relishes her payday, she later discovers that, following the disclosure of his secret life, the actor has killed himself. She blames herself for his death, and the event takes such a toll on her that she gives up the profession. However, ethics and honor are not always enough to lead a comfortable life. As Bo starts working as a waitress, she starts to fall short on rent and is in dire need of money. Meanwhile, we see an actress named Maisie Day filming for a period drama in the Czech Republic. After a long day of filming, she indulges in drugs and drinks and decides to drive outside after she runs out of cigarettes. On this fateful night, she ends up hitting someone and gets out of her car in a state of shock to check out what happened. After about two weeks, there is no word on Maisie Day and the media is going crazy to find out more about her mysterious disappearance. She hasn't been spotted on the sets and it is reported that she left abruptly without any notice. The curiosity among the masses regarding her sudden absence skyrockets the demands of more information on her and soon the word gets out to Bo, who is still struggling to make ends meet. Her former paparazzi friends ask her to find out about Maisie Day because a single picture and news about her could fetch her as much as $30,000. Bo is still reluctant to get into this dirty business, but her struggles with money force her to take up the assignment. It is soon revealed just how efficient Bo is. Apart from having some great resources and informants, Bo is also a quick thinker, and this combination makes her the Sherlock Holmes of the paparazzi world. After getting a hint of a possible location, where Maisie is apparently hiding out at the producer's house. Bo tracks down a nearby takeaway joint after finding out that Maisie had previously spoken about the food of this joint being her favorite. The delivery woman in the shop tells her all about the exact hideout of Maisie, and Bo starts stalking the house in her car. Meanwhile, Maisie can be seen in a semi-disoriented state, staying locked up in fear of something. She keeps having nightmares about the night, and it seems like she has a special confidant who assures her of safekeeping. One morning, the housekeeper arrives to find out that the whole place has been trashed and it seems like Maisie has gone far too down the addiction lane. The mystery man decides to take Maisie to another secure location and Bo starts following them in her car. However, the men taking care of Maisie are far too watchful and when they all stop at the parking lot of a diner, one of the men slashes Bo's tires before getting away. She is disappointed to lose out on such a golden opportunity, but stepping into the diner offers her a fresh lead. While she asks the waiter at the diner about potential staying options nearby until her car can be fixed, she she learns that there is a rehab facility nearby, which particularly handles rich clients. She also finds out that the place has been booked by a single individual for the entire weekend, and by now, she is convinced that Maisie will be stationed there under the watchful eyes of those men. An unforgettable climax and a werewolf twist. After being sure of Maisie's current location being the rehab facility and celebrity wellness retreat, Bo summons her friend who shows up on a motorbike to help her get the money shot. They head out to the location, but they are shocked to find two other fellow paparazzis who tracked Bo's friends through a tracker that they had put in his bike. They knew that Bo and her friend would go after Maisie, and now they have found the shortcut to get the prized picture. The wellness retreat is well-fenced, but the two men find their way in. After the men who brought Maisie in leave, 
the four of them sneak up on her in a room. The two men also reveal that the man who brought Maisie there is known for being an occult specialist in Hollywood, and they all wonder why she had to seek him out. However, what they discover leaves them baffled. It turns out that Maisie is chained to a bed in the room, and there are a couple of goats tied up near her. Initially, Bo is pitiful about her condition and wants to free her quickly, but Maisie repeatedly requests them to leave and not to free her. The paparazzi, on the other hand, is absolutely relentless, and they take hundreds of pictures of her in a semi-drowsy state. Camera flashes lighting up the room. All of a sudden, Maisie sits up after being freed and looks up at the full moon through the skylight in the room. The paparazzi watch in horror as she starts to transform into a werewolf, but they still do not give the cameras a break and continue clicking pictures. It is now revealed that Maisie actually hit a werewolf in the accident, and when she got out to check, she got bitten, thereby incurring the werewolf curse. They all realize that what they have stumbled upon is worth millions. After all, just imagine this as headlines. Prominent actress found as a werewolf. Bo and her friend, however, are quick to make a run for their lives. They soon discover that they made a wise choice when they hear cries of help from the two men who continued filming even after the transformation. It is a gory sight as the werewolf rips them to shreds and then it goes after Bo and her partner. They make a desperate run for the diner and try to lock the werewolf outside. A local cop and a couple dining at the place are taken by surprise as they watch the panic-stricken duo enter the diner. Unfortunately, Maisie who is now transformed into a deadly werewolf, also breaks into the diner. The beast makes quick work of everyone at the diner, and even Bo's friend is fatally wounded. Luckily for Bo, she manages to grab the cop's gun and shoots the werewolf, inflicting a serious injury. It transforms back to her human form, and Maisie begs Bo to end her misery by putting a bullet in her. Bo cannot bring herself to do it, but she hands the gun to her and reaches out for the camera. As the scene pans outside the diner, we hear a gunshot and a few clicks from the camera, which pushes indicates that Bo got the shot of her life, Maisie shooting herself dead inside a diner. Is it really that easy to get rid of a werewolf? We will leave this question for another day because the shock value of the cinematic twist has left us in a trance for now. Marvelous Verdict A gritty werewolf story with an unexpected twist For those who are familiar with Black Mirror are familiar with the shocking twists in the tale, but Maisie Day will still manage to take them by surprise. For the longest time, the viewers are made to think that the actress actually ran over someone in her intoxicated state and slipped into a downward spiral of drugs and depression following the accident. It is only in the final moments of the episode that the true horrors and secrets are revealed, and the werewolf transition is certainly a scene to remember. Of course, the baffling desperation of the paparazzi is there for all to see, and it is almost amusing to see the greedy ones being ripped to shreds, only because they didn't run away when there was still time. The werewolf transformation looks quite amazing, and we are still scratching our heads over how a simple bullet could injure the werewolf enough to transition back to its human state. Also, we cannot help but wonder how the occult doctor was planning to heal her from the condition. That being said, the episode is shrouded in mystery, and that is the best part about the storytelling. Season 6 of Black Mirror has its highs and lows, but Maisie Day is easily among the best we had this season. Do let us know in the comments below what you think of the sixth season of Black Mirror and which episodes impressed you the most. Also, tell us if Maisie Day was as captivating for you as it was for us.